Okay, you're in Microsoft Word and you want to know how to change page size. We'll do this for the whole document for specific pages within a document. And then I'll also show you how to set the default page size for future documents. Okay, so here's my document. I've got four pages. I want to change the page size for the whole document. So what I do is I go to the layout tab on the ribbon, I go to the size button, and you can see all the inbuilt paper sizes here. By default in the UK, it's A4. You may find your default is letter. So for example, let's choose statement and you can see it's changed the page size for every page in the document. Now, if you want to specify a custom page size, you need to go down to more paper sizes at the bottom here and you can just specify your width and your height here. So if I said the width was 20 and the height was 10, click on OK. You can see I now have that page size. OK, I'll change it back to something a little bit more sensible. Now, if you want to change the page size for specific pages, this is what you do. For example, if you wanted to change the page size from page three onwards, what you would do is you'd place your cursor in page three, then you'd go to size and then more paper sizes. You'd make a change to your paper size. So I'll say tabloid. And then where it says apply to down here, you select this point forward. Click on OK. And you can see now it's changed the paper size of the document for page three. And if there were more pages, page four, page five, etc., would also be that page size. Right, I'll just undo that. Say I wanted specific pages within my document to be a different page size. Let's say page two. Now to apply this, we need to use section breaks. So what I would do is I'd click at the end of page one, and I'd go to the layout tab, then breaks, and then I'd apply a next page section break. And then I'd go to the beginning of page three, so the page after the page I want to change the page size off, and I'd go to breaks, next page section break. Now this page here now exists in its own section. So what I can do is click into that page, go to size and I'll choose in this instance B4. And you can see now that only page two has its page size changed. Now, if you want to change the default paper size that Word uses whenever you create a new document, that's nice and easy to do. Go back to your size menu, go down to more paper sizes. Select your paper size, so I'll say executive, and then all you need to do is click on set as default. It'll ask you, do you want to change the default settings for the page setup? This change will affect all new documents based on the normal template. So at that point, you'd need to click on yes. So now if I create a new document, you'll see that the page size is by default executive. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.